Dark clouds blanket Gaza this morning as rockets striking. Wow, look at that. And sirens ringing in Tel Aviv just a few moments ago as the war in Israel expands to new fronts. Our Trey Yingst is on the ground in southern Israel and has some breaking news for us this morning. Trey? The Americans using F-16s to launch airstrikes on a target in eastern Syria. The Secretary of Defense, uh, Lloyd Austin, talking about this. And I think we have the quote here. He says these narrowly tailored strikes in self-defense were intended solely to protect and defend U.S. personnel in Iraq and Syria. They are separate and distinct from the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. This does follow a series of rocket attacks and drone attacks against U.S. personnel across the region and concerns that what's happening on the ground in Gaza could expand to the entire region. Now, as I mentioned, the Israelis conducted a series of raids overnight, not just from the ground, but also from the sea, trying to destroy a number of Hamas cells along the border. They're also targeting tunnel infrastructure beneath the Gaza Strip as the number of hostages inside Gaza has risen to 229 people. Guys, back to you. So, Trey, what they're doing, what the Israelis are doing is they're going into Gaza with tanks for a couple hours. They blow stuff up and then leave, right? That's exactly right. They're trying to clear a path for this expected ground operation. And we're always careful in our reporting here because the ground operation won't be certain until it begins and ultimately is announced by the Israeli military. But all the indications we have right now from the top political and military echelon is that this will take place. And again, we spoke face to face with the country's defense minister this morning. And I want to give you a little bit more about what he said regarding the mission of the Israeli army. He laid out actually on a slide showing us the four points that will take place here. He says the, these are in no particular order, but he describes the destruction of Hamas military and governing capabilities as one objective. Also, the return of the hostages, securing Israel's southern arena, and finally deterring Israel's adversaries in the region. We talked about a variety of issues and also regional threats. As we know, this is now a multi-front conflict, including the fighting on Israel's northern border. Much of this conversation was off the record due to how sensitive the information is, but we will bring you as much as we can report. We're working on getting more of that information cleared by the military censor. Guys, back to you. Trey, if Netanyahu said, if, if America talks to Benjamin Netanyahu and, and they say, hold off on the ground incursion, we want to worry about the hostages. We want to try to negotiate a little bit more and get more hostages back. How much does Israel listen to America's advice? I know they're allies, obviously pro-Israel, but um, how much does he really take that into account? It's a great question, and you can hear those airstrikes behind me that continue at this hour. I'm referring to my notes here because I want to make sure we get this right. A lot of sensitive information that we received, and only a portion of it we can report. But we can report that Israel's Defense Minister, Yoav Gallant, says he speaks daily with U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. And that's significant because he also added that the Israelis are learning from American efforts in Iraq. He specifically mentioned during the U.S. invasion of Iraq, Fallujah, and what the Americans learned there, and also what the Americans learned during the fall of Mosul, when the uh, Western-led coalition destroyed the Islamic State, mm. ISIS, in Iraq. Because we're talking about bloody urban battles. The understanding in the Israeli military leadership is that they will take casualties when they enter Gaza. It's part of the reason you see these nightly raids from the ground and from the sea. They want to clear a path for the bulldozers, the tanks, the APCs, and then ultimately the infantry troops that will enter Gaza because they know they will be ambushed. They know they will face roadside yeah. bombs and IEDs, and it will be difficult block-to-block -block fighting. Right. You know, it's going to be interesting, too, is are they going to do what they did in Fallujah? Are they going to cordon off the whole area? Are they going to give everyone IDs and try to find out who the terrorists are and who belongs there? I mean, they literally cordoned off an entire city. That's a great question. And I actually asked the defense minister this very question about the civilians inside Gaza. Remember, more than two million people live there. There are thousands of Hamas and Islamic Jihad fighters, but there are also a variety of civilians. And he simply said they will separate Hamas from the civilians. Guys, okay. back to you. Trey, uh, great reporting as from usual. There. Thanks, Be careful this weekend.